Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to tonight's stream and uh, the also the Thangs.com giveaway announcement. So uh, I appreciate you all being here. We're going to make sure that the uh, stream's going good before we really start rolling into things. Um, like audio and camera issues, uh, hopefully we'll be able to avoid those tonight. Uh, the camera's, nope, don't wanna jinx it. It's knock on wood. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, tonight, what I wanna go over is something I've been kinda wanting to do for a little while ever since uh, somebody had suggested it, um, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And uh, basically, I wanna watch and go back and re-watch my first, maybe second, Mark 85 build video um, because it's bad. And I don't mean bad like in a, like, don't watch it, just I was naive. Um, so much has changed, and I kinda wanna go through and evaluate that. Uh, and uh, I haven't actually watched it in its entirety in months like I, I didn't even like pre-watch and prep it for this um, I like skimmed it real quick because I'm like I think I talked about this so I grabbed some things that I think will be relevant to the video um, about what I talk about but uh, I really haven't watched it in a very long time I definitely haven't watched video two in months so uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually go and watch that live and you'll get some you'll get some genuine reaction out of me I'm sure um, about, you know, just face palming and like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, you also are probably here for the, like I said, the thangs.com giveaway. Um, we are just uh, doing some final conference just to make sure that we are on the same page with who we both believe won and why. Um, so that'll be announced a little bit later into the stream. I won't make you guys wait the full hour, but I'm thinking about 8.30. I gotta make you guys work for it just a little bit. Um, I, think that's, I think that's totally fair. You know, we're giving away a, a free printer so you can watch you can watch a stream for a few minutes so um yeah uh i will be interacting as much as possible with the the chat but please keep the questions pertinent to what we're going over um you know try to keep them topical uh don't you know try to derail the entire thing or else i'm just going to ignore the question anyway so uh if you guys are curious about it drop it into the chat um, i will try to answer all of your questions or as many as i can that seem relevant um, I got some moderators in there. If you're spamming the chat, being annoying, blah, 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 repeat question, repeat question, you will get banned. So please don't do that. That's just, that's just not fun. Um, I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. It's Sunday, right? Oh my God. I've been all over the place all, all day. Um, yeah. Do you sell some of your projects? Yes, but that's not what this is about. Ha, you already did it. Already did it. So let's go ahead and check stream health real fast. Make sure that's all looking good. Oh, it is. It's actually cooperating pretty nicely right now. I have no quarrels with that. So let's do that. Want to make sure we're all good. And yeah, it's Sunday. Yeah, I'm so um, out of it, but that's fine. So I guess we can. I guess we can uh, just kind of roll right into it. We'll. I'll stream up the video. This way, you guys don't need to have the video um, up and uh, playing. But um, can three D printing be toxic because it's melting plastic? There is a lot of mixed research about microparticulates and microplastics being melted. Any melting plastic, I'm sure, isn't good over long periods of time. ABS is very toxic when you print it. That's why you need an enclosure and proper ventilation. As for PLA, it is marketed to be environmentally safe. You can print it, blah, blah, blah. But there is research about it. If you do some research, I've, I've seen a lot of mixed things. Um, if you're printing as, as a hobbyist occasionally and you have an Ender 3 or something in your bedroom, I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, again, your room's also getting being ventilated pretty nicely. Um, every time you open the door, every time you open the window, you know, stuff like that. But uh, I wouldn't have like a print farm of eight printers in your bedroom. Probably not a good idea, so. Um, but I can neither con confirm or deny that it is healthy or not. Um, but you're right, any, any plastic's plastic. It can't be that good for you. So, uh, are you planning on making other Iron Man suit bearer? Yes, I am. I already have the second one in work. What type of LEDs do you put in your gauntlet? Those are talked about in build video six or seven. They are from osnium.com. They are uh, 12 volt SMD. LEDs and they are so bright. They're amazing and tiny. Um, yeah, I think it's linked in one of the build videos. Osnium.com. Yeah, they're, they're great. They're very good. All the Phineas stones in the gauntlet on the Mark 85. Yeah, they always are. 
It's just the time stones in the in the front, so that's the one you see. I want to try to get it, get it so the the stand like the arm is like twisted out a little bit better, or like I don't know. We can room for room for improvement. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and get this video up um, on the screen, and I'm even gonna uh, I'll be a doll, and I'll even include my my face in it, so you guys can watch my my silly reaction. I'm not gonna full screen it because I believe that will mess with it. And I'm gonna pause. We're not gonna watch the video in its entirety in one shot. We are, um, we are going to, I wanna pause. Or if I say something that I'm like, oh, I wanna talk about that. We're gonna pause, we'll talk about it, and keep going. Um, so let's see. See, you guys are asking silly questions. Which one the Mark 40? We're not talking about what I'm gonna print. We're talking about what I printed. Come on, come on. What's your favorite thing you printed apart from your suit? Um, that helmet, my Battle Damage Mark 85 helmet. Ooh, actually, there's something hidden in my closet right now that I can't show you guys yet, but some of my, pa all my patrons have seen it, and then some people on the Discord. Don't say what it is. That might, that might be, that might be it. That might, that might take it. Um, so, yeah. Let's get it. Let me get this, let me get the screen set up. Let's see, I gotta move this up there. So I am, no, that's not it. I need that. Yes, that's what I need right there. We're gonna bring you up into the corner, do that. So that's the full screen. All right, so yeah, I don't wanna full screen it because then it'll be very difficult to see. All right, you guys ready? You wanna start watching this video? And like I said, at about 8.30, we'll announce the winner. Um, so that'll be uh, that'll be kind of cool. Yeah, I wanna I wanna because a lot of you got into this hobby. A lot of you guys found this channel probably with this Mark eighty five video, how to three D print an Iron Man suit. And uh, as a lot of you know, I, I go back and change my mind on a lot of stuff, or not so much change my mind, but like realize there's a better way, or I get better, got better at something. So I want to evaluate this video, and um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. So let's uh, let's get started. All right. Doo -doo. Look at these transitions, isn't this great? I do have the backup camera on hand, so if my screen just freezes like that, you'll uh, give me a second. It'll, it's always in a funny, it's always in a funny face every single time. So let's open up that window and let's start watching, folks. And we're gonna get my really bad original. Um, oh, I gotta make. Oh, you know what? I gotta make sure that you guys are getting audio from this too, because it's a window capture. And then, ooh, I gotta make sure. Hmm. Let me just start playing it, and hopefully you guys get the audio through my side. Today we're going over a shop that I've been waiting to start for quite a while now, and I finally have everything in place to begin what uh, obviously the title of this video is, making my own 3D printed Iron Man suit. Now, through this video, or mul definitely multiple videos, I'm not going to be really telling you what to do. There's a, a million different ways you can approach this. Uh, tons of guides, guides. 3D printed, EDA, there's so many guides out there. If you want to hop on the train for one of those, absolutely go for it. I'm going to be down here with the ways that I know. So if I start talking about a technique that maybe you have never heard of or something you just aren't familiar with, drop a comment, message me, uh, I'll share what I'm doing. To Fam famous last words of, hey, just reach out and uh, hit me up. <laughs> That's my ability. With that, there's going to be a lot I'm going to go over in this video just for getting um, the helmets to kind of look how I did and the type of equipment I'm using, what I'm going to be doing. So I just want to jump into it. And first off, I'll show you guys uh, the equipment and the 3D printer that I'm going to be using for most of this project. Hopefully, I can do this on just one and do it all at once. <laughs> so, so, so that was an effing lie. <laughs> um, I just want to point out just how. Um, Few things are in the room. Um, you can th here's a stark contrast of what what's happened. Um, I had done the Keyblade project right there, so that was my f that 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 was my confidence boost. I was like, oh, I did a whole Keyblade. Let's let's start on the suit. 
So that was um, that was kind of enter- that's like really entertaining to see. Those maps, one of them is in the closet, one of them is still in that room on that wall. Yeah. Um, I don't have any of those helmets anymore. I sold that Mark 50 helmet, um, that Mark Eight, that Mark Six helmet. That was my first first helmet. Period. That was part of a giveaway. Um, oh, Colin, Colin cosplay. Yeah, in London has that. And then uh, I don't know what happened to the middle one. Probably a giveaway or sold. And there is my uh, little dream baby, the uh, the CR-10S, the original printer. And it looks like I already have the Bowden Capricorn tube upgrade. Um, and I, you know what? I might be getting ahead of myself. I think I talk about all that. I don't know. I don't know. Home, so I'm trying to keep this as DIY as possible. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's get started. started. So, so first, first off, off, what are we, we using? Um, the, the setup, setup I'm going to be using for most of this, uh, pending just, just small upgrades, upgrades throughout, throughout, is a Creality CR-10S. The only upgrades I've actually done to it at this point are a magnetic bed for just speed because everything I'm going to be printing is mostly going to be done with rafts and supports, so I don't need some nice, beautiful, smooth glass bottom. I need it to print, get it off, and start the next one. Um, I've also gotten a uh, Capricorn... How's that audio? I realized I didn't have it turned up all the way. So uh, let me mute my mic and then we'll start playing again. Let me know how it sounds. Um, a Capricorn tube, upgraded that. Uh, I didn't really see have a problem with the first one, but everyone recommended this thing as an immediate upgrade. I also moved the spool holder up top. Um, I'm working on Z-axis supports right now, so eventually those will come, but this has been just perfect uh, for me at this point. Um, I get good, consistent prints. I'm using a uh, six... 0.6 millimeter nozzle, but I might mess around with some other ones. I got a couple other ones lined up here. Um, I don't really have any other mods printed. I have the normal bed leveling knobs. Uh, I got a wire extension kit because I put my uh, control box underneath it. And also, I also printed the legs to get rid of a little bit of boost for cooling. That's about it. All right, right there. <laughs> What I had already done to the printer, I want to talk about upgrades. That's a good um, good segue for this. So let me do this. <laughs> oh boy, that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, we'll go back to this. Oh, I should have set I should have set up a scene. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I got to work on that. Um, so in the video, you can see my original Creality CR10X. Um, those upgrades that I did to it, those are those pretty much carry through the, the rest of this whole journey up until now. Um, I have right here, this is it. Actually, I have all three. Hold on. One, two, and three. Boom, boom, boom. So, the two upgrades that you need to put on any Bowden style Creality printer. Your Bowden tube, your stock white Bowden tube is going to fail. It's going to either give you a nozzle blowout or spaghetti. Change your Bowden tube. It's it's cheap, simple. All metal extruder. It's red or silver. You can get these both on on Amazon for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, oh yeah, the camera quality. That camera is this little guy right here. My GoPro Hero 3. Uh, my wife got it for me in Japan. This thing has been underwater. This thing has been in the air. This thing has been, this thing has been in a jet fighter. Not that I should say that. This thing has been in a, 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 a F-15. Um, this thing has seen more of the world than most people. <laughs> so this is what we started on. This is where we are now. And in between here and there was a GoPro Hero 8, which I just sold to one of my patrons. <laughs> so yeah, that camera quality though, wild, right? Um, yeah, that Mark 50 helmet is kind of iconic. Anyway, so these are two upgrades I got. This is what everybody recommended. They're like, hey, upgrade your Bowden tube. And I didn't quite understand why at the time. I, I kind of just did upgrades because people were like, hey, do your upgrades. I didn't understand that the PTF, the white stock PTFE tubing was gonna back out slowly and cause a hot end leak. I didn't, well, I did kind of realize that your stock extruder is going to break eventually and it just seemed like a very simple thing. Oh, I can make the printer better, let's do it. So for 15 bucks, you can turn your Bowden style Creality printer into a reliable printer. I'm still, a year and a half later, I'm still using the same Bowden tube and the same metal extruder that I put on the printer in that exact video. I haven't changed them. I'm, They've been fine. What else you saw in the video was this magnetic flex bed. And I love this thing. This is literally that same one. This is the exact same one that was on the printer. And uh, 
Ooh, do I have two of these now? No, I gave it to the guy. So um, I upgraded. I could not get prints to stick. This is the glass. This is the stock glass bed that came with my first CR10S. Couldn't get it to work. So people were like, "Get a magnetic bed," and I, I, I love this thing. What started to do me in with this, and why I upgraded to the I want to. We're going to talk about it all. Ultra base. So this is the ultra base glass bed, and this is the magnetic flex bed. I love both of these. I like the ultra base bed a little bit more. Um, but the the benefit of the magnetic bed is it pops off. Uh, as long as you keep these clean with alcohol, you don't use additives with these. You don't use glue, hairspray, nothing. You keep them clean, you will get the best adhesion of your life. Um, either one of these. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, if you're using your magnetic bed though, still use your bed clips because eventually the magnetism on this will start to wear off. Heat and magnetism don't mix well too, too well. Um, so the bed can start to shift a little bit. Just use your bed clips, save yourself the headache. It's no problem. Um, started from the bottom now, you are right. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Currently working on my CR10S4 setup, but you're right, the upgrades, they are a must. But at least those two, at least those two. Um, everything else I've done to the CR10S, the all-in-one mod, the Z braces, the silent board, they're all van they're vanity upgrades. You don't need them. It is, it's tomato potato. It's just whatever you want to do. Um, so I still have those. I still stay true to those upgrades. Those are the ones you need on um, these Bowden style printers. They're very, you know, once people complain about Bowden style, oh my God, get a direct drive. Why? This works just as well as long as you install it right. Just saying. And you can print faster. So. That's that. Yeah, let's keep watching. Let me uh, let me retransition um, because my my weeb self didn't set up a scene again. We'll go there, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna turn on that, and then we're gonna we're gonna transition back. Um, yep, 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 yep. Am I an engineer? No, I am in the uh, military. I am not an engineer. Um, oh, bye, G. Thank you for tuning in, man. Yeah, ten minutes. In ten minutes, we'll announce the winner. Um, as long as. They got back to me on if they're totally cool. Um, I decided to take my 3D printer apart completely because it was a massive buildup of filament around the nozzle, so I'm trying to figure out why fun times. Uh, probably because your Bowden tube backed out. Haha. <laughs> Spitballing. All right. 100% um, thank you. Um, oh, hold on. Um, I'm live on YouTube right now to announce it. They might be watching. I hope they're watching. <laughs> so let's go back to this and we'll keep watching because uh, I'm excited to see what else I talk about because I don't remember at all. It, um, I have my own little fire suppression system in the works, but that's just that's something you can Google and look at. So that's what I'm using. It's standard PLA and a lot of people are probably going to say, oh my God, you should definitely print that in ABS because PLA warps. I'm not going to be ever taking this somewhere too hot, and I'm printing it pretty thick, so uh, rigidity and strength, I I'm totally okay with it. There's another pause moment. I want to do the screen, but I since upgraded to PLA+. Plus. PLA is good. I know plenty of people use suits in it. They, they will build a whole suit in PLA, and it's fine. If you are going to be in an environment where, you know, Florida, Texas, uh, Mexico, um, somewhere tropical where the heat is going to be a thing, you might want to look into PETG. Um, in my opinion, I think ABS is starting to die in the terms of cosplay because it is very tricky to print with. Um, I know pe a lot of people have good luck with it, but with PETG being almost as strong, it kind of pr prints a little bit easier. So uh, it, again, it's a little bit more pick your own poison kind of thing. If you live somewhere in like you know, the, nor the uh, northern United States or even here in England, I'm never going to have a problem with something overheating and melting. A PLA Plus is fine. PETG is overkill. So uh, I have changed that, but again, just kind of do some research on the, you know, your average temperatures and can you leave it in a car and all that. Um, I don't think I'd print, I don't think I personally would do props in normal PLA anymore. Um, PLA Plus definitely is much stronger. I think it stands better perfectly, per uh, personally. And, uh, yeah, so test that out for sure. I'm gonna keep uh, keep going. <laughs> um, I haven't had any issues with the helmets at all to this point. They've been holding up quite fine. And yeah, so let's move on to 
uh, where I started and where I'm at now. So after the printer was set up, after I got everything kind of running how I thought I needed to, I started messing with uh, the Cura slicer. Now, Cura has been absolutely great through this whole project. The only problem is, even out of the box, I was trying to use other people's profiles and just there was so much information and misinformation out there that I was getting garbage prints. Um, my Benchy came out all right, so that was, that was all right. For my first print, this gave me hope. Only a little bit of a couple of little zits, but I thought this would be good enough. Then I scaled up, and it came out like trash. This was the first top part of this helmet right here, and it was absolute garbage. So I needed to figure out how to get better prints. So after a lot of trial and error, I landed with this. This was a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight piece helmet that I had printed. Um, as you can see, there's still a lot of Bondo on it. It didn't come out good. I needed to fix this bad. Um, the quality was all right. The thickness was okay. It didn't need too much filling, but I still had to glue everything together and get it to be presentable. But there's so many nooks and crannies and just it turned into an absolute nightmare. I had Bondo all over the place. Smoothing this out just was not, it, it wasn't working. Um, so, I used to be really bad at this. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Um, I guess I can do that. Yeah, that's, that's better for transitions. Um, oh my God, I forgot how bad that helmet was. Um, yeah, oh God, yeah, look at that Tiburon, right? I set that up and I remember setting that screen up in the background like, oh, people are going to ask about my car, it's so cool. <laughs> um, oh my God, so there's a lot to digest there. Um, A, I used to glue pieces together. Um, no, 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 that helmet is, that helmet file is trash. I, I, I'm sorry to whoever designed it. That helmet is bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I don't glue parts together anymore. I didn't even know about PLA welding. I wouldn't really figure out PLA welding until video three or four, when my armor stand actually fell over and it broke the chest and the abs right down the middle, cracked them completely. Like, it wasn't even glued together. From there, it, the suit was all still just fresh printed. Nothing, luckily nothing was painted. Um, and uh, so I um, really was like, all right, I gotta figure out a better way to do this. And I'm like, oh, let me just melt the plastic together, ha ha. Um, and other people were already doing it. I just, I landed on it, you know, by myself because I used to kind of do something similar with Gundam models with like repairing small cracks and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't glue anymore. And if I do use glue, I, I think I say it in that video, I do, I was already using cyanoacrylate. Um, I still use that. I literally just use it for part of a keyblade today, but then from there I'll go and weld it together for even more strength. Um, Bondo, 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 Bondo. I was, I used Bondo. I used, um, it's a weird brand here in the UK on, on Amazon. It's called Big Boy. Big Boy Bondo is weird. It had like a little fat kid on the front and, uh, it, I was, I'd mix it up, slather it on, smooth it out, wait for it to dry, sand it down. And <sighs> do you know how freaking long that took? Oh my God. Um, yeah, there are better ways. Everyone's reaction when they look back at their first helmet. You're right. Hi, fangs.com. Look at that. In four minutes, we're gonna announce the winner. That's four, that's five. I meant to do that. Um, if not welding or gluing, how do you, no, I, I weld it. I weld it. Just well it. Um, some people can, some people have had like, you know, you can use acetone in small amounts, but PLA, I don't know. I haven't had a, if, if I can't glue it, if I can't weld it, I can glue it. Um, like some of the infinity stone props, they're glued together because they're not seeing a lot of abuse. Um, but you know, experiment. I used to use hot glue, lots of hot glue. Oh man. <laughs> uh, I use a soldering iron. So that's the, um, that's my trick. I just use a cheap $5 soldering iron and it has a, it has a changeable tips. Um, I can put a really fine tip on there to kind of get into like really, really small areas. Um, the ones that have no heat regulation usually get hotter. They're a little more dangerous, but they can get much hotter up to 400 degrees. Um, I actually taped over the, uh, the, the little dial on this because my, when I was using it, my hand kept changing the temperature. Um, so yeah, 
um, that was bad. That was very bad. Um, but you have to start somewhere, you know? You didn't know. Um, some people don't know. Now, I'm not saying don't use Bondo. I know some people have good luck with it. Um, you can make resin Bondo. It's called Rondo. I've looked into that. Um, now I use wood filler, and uh, it is this beautiful product, and I don't cover the whole thing in it. This is a raw printed helmet. This is just a fresh raw print helmet. Nothing spectacular. Um, a couple layer lines. The the helmet, the, the faceplate got a little wonky. Not quite sure why. Um, it also, it's gonna be this is gonna be a battle damaged helmet. There was some layer shifts. Um, this this wasn't having a good day. From raw printed helmet to a smooth sanded helmet, about five minutes, ish, give or take, depending on. Uh, how good you are with the palm sander. This was five minutes of sanding. This is ready to be primed. There is, there's not like, oh, prime sand, prime sand. This is ready for primer. The only thing I need to do is hit the top right here, which is a little bit of wood filler, because this is where my supports were, and call it a day. This is with that dual orbital palm sander. sander. I can literally sand a helmet in five minutes. Why not? You know, why not do that? Um, and then use just a little bit of filler at the top and you're good to go. This is after that priming, right here. This is directly after that stage. This print came out like dookie. Um, I am not proud of this print. You can actually hear it crackle. Yeah, uh, this print has some issues. I'm probably just gonna throw it out, honestly. I don't know. So you don't need to spend days and days slathering it with Bondo and doing all this stuff. Um, you can sand down these prints. Use some scrap prints, use some Dookie failed prints. Print something out that you just plan to sand. While I, I have sat on a failed helmet print before and literally just sat in the same spot until it melted. I wanted to know how long that would take. All right, okay, if I sit here for 10 seconds, it's gonna melt. You have to move around with it. So it's a technique you need to learn. Now, for finer details, you can get attachments for your Dremel. You can get um, little um, nail file, little electric nail file things. Um, you can get metal nail files. So there's a cavalcade of things you can use to get into small areas. But when you're sanding big things like armors and stuff, there's no reason you need to slather it with filler primer and do all that. Just sand it down. It's fine, you know? Um, I'm printing with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, so the prints come out a little bit stronger. They have a little bit of thicker walls. But you can always increase that. I'm not the guy to talk to about that. You have to do your own research, but uh, it does work. Um, I've never got blown through a print or blown through a wall sanding it. Just saying. Um, do, 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 do. do you print a lot of helmets, Frank, or is it? No, I print a lot of helmets. I, I, this month I printed probably about 20 helmets. Do you do this full time? How do you get funding for this? Uh, this is not full time, this is a hobby, and you're looking at how I get funding for this. YouTube, social media, Patreon, sponsorships. Um, clean prints help. And that's where my mentality was. And I, real quick, I want to, my, in my mind, I, didn't, I wasn't caring how the print was coming out. I was like, it doesn't matter how bad the print is. I'll just cover it in Bondo and I can sand in all the fine details. Oh my God, was I so wrong. It's not even funny how wrong that was. Um, the cleaner your print comes out, the less post work you have to do. It's a trade-off, you know? So you have to make that choice for yourself. Um, Ah, the design contest that Frank announced a couple weeks ago. He, he'll probably do another. I plan on doing many more like this. Um, so, do, 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 do. what tubing do I need to buy? What, what do you mean tubing? Tubing? Tubbing? What? So let's announce the winner. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, I want to announce the winner of the fans.com 3D model design contest. The winner is, you thought it was going to be that easy. No, no, it's not. Um, it's definitely not going to be that easy. But, uh, do, 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 do. Cool. Uh, is leveling a bit easy? Yes. So, do, do, do. So, as a lot of you guys know, and apparently a few of you who don't, um, there was a contest uh, in partnership with Thangs.com to have you guys design and submit your own 3D model. Um, I wanted, the idea of this contest was to be giving back to the designers, people who don't have a 3D printer, but obviously they can, you know, they can download Tinkercad, they can download Mesh Mixer, they have Blender, they have Maya. For some reason they have ZBrush, you know, um, which I don't think anybody uploaded a model that good, which would be pretty cool though. <laughs> um, now, 
Kiara, or not Kiara, that's the other Iron Man, Emily, Emily, uh, the engineer, she did the opposite of this contest. She was the other side of that coin. Her contest, and I'm not sure when hers announced it, hers ends, I gotta look into that. Um, you had to print a 3D model for hers. So it was kind of like, you know, if you don't have a 3D printer, enter mine. If you have a 3D printer, but you want a better one, enter hers. So you can you had the chance to enter both, and I hope any of you waiting did enter both. So, yeah. Um, there was over 200, I think, I think uh, she sent me the total, 204 models entered. That's awesome. Um, unfortunately, I did see a couple people who didn't upload with the hashtag. Um, unfortunately, it's it's almost impossible to track if that was just a coincidence. You know, you just have somebody just happened to upload a 3D model that looked like Captain America's shield or Iron Man's helmet at the same time. I do apologize for that. Um, but unfortunately, there was no other way to track it except adding my hashtag into the um, into the uh, the title, which those will all be changed so people can actually find your model without having to search my name or anything. Um, but on that, there were so many cool designs, guys. Like, I was expecting a lot of Iron Man helmets and Captain America shields and Thor's hammers. And you guys, like, went off the reservation with it, which was amazing. There were things added in design that I didn't even think about. We're like, oh, my God, I forgot that was a thing, you know? Um, a lot of you came up with some really, really clever ideas. So I implore, um, implore some of you guys um, to go to things.com. Just search Frankly Built. No spaces, no underscores. Just search my hashtag, and you'll see everything that was entered. And it's... It, there's a lot of cool things that I've already downloaded some of them because I want to print them. And even if you don't win, I still might use, I still might print some of your designs for a video. So like stay tuned for that because um, some of them were really, really cool. Uh, yeah, and like I, yeah. So I, um, I guess it's time to announce who the winner is. And you know what I can do? I'm gonna actually pull it up on the screen because we have the technology for this. And uh, yeah, so you guys can just see who won and hopefully they're watching. Hopefully they're watching. But if not, we have their email, so it won't really matter. Um, and there it is, do, 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 do. gotta scroll down. There are so many models, there it is. So, let me do this. And I want to zoom in so you all can see what it is. Yeah, get a nice shot. Ooh, right there. Okay. I want to, I want it to look nice. Sorry. <laughs> and the winner of the contest is oh thank you mark watts i will get back to that ah drum roll <laughs> <laughs> and i want to make sure i say their name right yes okay cool cool cool, cool. the winner is edward black not only did he design one thing he designed six things and not only did he design six things he designed six things that I had never even thought about. These are all super deep cut things from the MCU, or not the MCU, the comics, that the MCU pulled from. Um, these are awesome, and I want, I'm probably gonna print all of these. Um, I have the Cosmic Cube, kind of, it's the Tesseract. The Tesseract is not the Cosmic Cube in the, in, it's different, it's hard to explain. Uh, yes, so Edward Black is the winner. Again, thank you everybody else for entering. Um, like this was so cool to do and I, I want to do more design contests like this because I think it gives you guys a chance to win stuff if you don't have a printer. Um, but again, like if I go back, you guys really need to see just how many models were Excalibur and Jer the Jericho missile. Are you kidding me? Like that's, that's hilarious. Arc reactors, Iron Man helmets. Um, the little thing from Ant-Man, the little token thing they throw. So there were so many cool designs added. So go check it out. X-Wings, um, Infinity Gauntlets, Kylo Ren, Captain America's prototype shield. That might end up in my wall. That's awesome. Um, so there's tons of stuff. Uh, again, thank you everybody who participated. 
Um, I really, this was a lot of fun, and it was a little bit of a different competition. So, yes, um, yeah, ul yeah, the ultimate nullifier, the um, the wand of Watum. Um, there's tons. Oh, is that is that you right now? Currently, right? Oh, it is you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I checked your Instagram. Yes, yes, he is here. Hi, congratulations. It's you. <laughs> um, so yeah, now that you know, that that uh, that helps. So again, thank you everybody. Um, I'm sorry if you didn't win. Go check out Emily's. Maybe you also entered Emily's contest, and there's hope there. Um, I do have another 3D printer I will be giving away this month. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to kick that, that competition off December 15th. It's the Sunloo S8 that I reviewed. It's sitting in the other room ready to go to one of you lucky people. Um, still trying to figure out how I want to, want to run that contest. So keep an eye on TikTok, Instagram, and all that fun stuff uh, because I can't do a contest on YouTube that doesn't like that. So... Um, yeah, all the models there are free. Yeah, I already downloaded all of six of his models um, and was playing around with them. So they're really cool. So thank you for those deep, deep cuts. Ultimate Nullifier, the Eye of Evil, um, Casket of a uh, Ancient Winters, the actual Cosmic Cube, not the one that has the Space Stone in it because they're different. So um, what's my day job? I'm in the, in the U.S. Air Force. Um, the Luke Skywalker light. Yeah, they had, there was Luke's lightsaber. Um, that was all colored. Uh, Kylo Ren's was there. Kylo Ren's dropship was in there. Um, yeah, dude, that is crazy. Well, hey, wow, thank you so much, man. This is... That's awesome. Um, right now, currently, Ed, uh, Edward, where, where... Are you in the U.S.? Where do you live? You don't have to give, like, specifics. But, uh, um, where are the power objects from exactly? They're from the comics. They're all from the comics. Make a design and ask everyone to modify it to their idea. I've, I, I had an idea about, um, uh, I, had a couple, I had a couple ideas on how I want to run it. Want to run it. Did you even look at any of my models? They were higher quality than anything these other guys uploaded. Um, well, yeah, I, we looked at all of them, but it wasn't about quality. Um, I, I apologize for that, but nowhere in the contest did I say, or at any point would have even made it a thing that the highest quality model wins. That's not how this works because anybody with ZBrush would probably smoke anybody else with Mesh Mixer. So please don't be um, sore about it. It's not, it's not good looks. So there will be other contests. I'm sorry the free thing we were giving away wasn't you know, good enough, but uh, go, go enter another contest. Yeah, whatever. Um, do, 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 do you see the new episode of The Mando? No, I haven't. Charles, oh, you're in South Carolina. That's good. You're near, Char oh, you're near Charleston. Oh, you're near Shaw. That's pretty cool. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yep. All right, now stop hating on him. It's been dealt with. Let's move on. <laughs> Thank you again for everybody for answering. Um, yeah, you'll probably message me or Thangs will reach out to you. Uh, you probably already messaged me on Instagram, cheering and shouting. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> Um, first model to win, but it was still super. Um, and that's what I. So some people on Instagram got a little. Oh my God! Only three D modelers can enter. Or oh, like that. Yeah, that's kind of the point. It, it, so I already saw in some of the comments that a lot of people, like a lot of you guys, were like, Oh, I've never. You know, this is reason for me to start three D modeling. Um, and hopefully that was incentive. And in like you're like, Oh, this is kind of cool. I made my own models. So uh, hopefully that gives you a new skill set, and you guys can continue to grow on that. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I still haven't 3D modeled yet. I want to though. Um, after seeing these designs, and um, Edward, you did like a time lapse too. I saw your Instagram, man. Like you did whole time lapses of how you did it, which was really cool to watch. Um, and you make it, you made it, it looks easy, you know? Not not to diminish your work, but like it it looks, you know, you made it look really easy. I'm like, I, I, so I gotta jump in. I gotta make something. I print all this stuff. I gotta start making my own stuff, so. Uh, really love your designs. Congrats on the winner. Thought it was a better. Yeah, well, it was. It was really cool. First time joining the stream. Hi, Sh Shadowin. We will do other contests. Follow up. Follow us. Follow up for your bill. You'll you will get more chances. Um, that COVID hair though. Yeah, dude, it's getting it's bad. I need a haircut. So, uh, so true. Thanks. Use Tinkercad. There we go. So when we, so when do we see the next unspoken project you have been hiding? Um, hopefully I'll have that uploaded in a week or so. There's a reason I need to wait to upload it. A bit late on the live stream. There's a live stream. That's a, that's a different channel. Um, have you shown your Mando helmet? No, but we're going to talk about that based on the video we keep watching. So the contest is over for now. 
Um, stay tuned for the next contest happening later this month because I really just, I'm trying to clear a room and I need to get rid of that, that Sunglo S8. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, let's keep watching. Uh, I don't even, you'll see the Mando helmet later. Be patient, please. Don't be greedy. I will feed you baby birds. I will feed you, I promise. <laughs> Let me get back to the right screen because, all right, cool. Let's keep going, shall we? The faceplate came out all right because it was one piece. I was able to bondo and fill it and if I kept at this, I could probably get it glossy and nice and shiny just like a piece of metal. But it doesn't even fit in the helmet and I, it's just, it'd be so much work to finish this. So I kind of stepped back again and tried to look at what am I doing wrong. And that's when I actually stumbled upon the Creosa mod for the Cura, uh, for the Cura Slicer. And it saved this entire project. I was starting to get really kind of concerned with the quality. So some of you might remember me talking about the Creosa mod in some of the earlier videos. After Cura 4.2, I believe, um, Creosum, it was an add-on. It was basically print profiles. It was very, very fine-tuned print profiles. For each printer, it was beautiful. It's all incorporated in Cura now. So that's that's why. Uh, I won't talk about it anymore because Cura kind of just in, brought them in, brought that into the fold, and that's why Cura started getting better. Quality, and maybe this wasn't feasible, and I should just quit, but um, I had already invested in the printer, and I, I needed to get this to work. I wanted to get this to work. So, once I downloaded the Creosa mod and search YouTube, Google for it, it, it it's just a bunch of um, preloaded uh, um, profiles and settings to help you print, and it, it was the best thing I ever did. So, I downloaded that, started messing with some of those profiles and doing some test prints, and right off the bat, I started getting nice, smooth, quality prints. Now, this, is a, this was on the rough quick setting, um, which even the guy who showed me the video recommended not doing, but this still gave me exactly what I needed. This gave me that little balance of um, speed versus quality. I'm going to fill these anyway. I'm going to bond and paint them anyway. So as long as I can get them out there looking pretty decent, that's all I need. So then I printed the entire helmet. I, uh, I found out that less was mo uh, more in this case. For that one, I just found a random profile of the Mark VI helmet on Thingiverse and printed it out, glued together, and thought that would be enough. This helmet, however, was printed in three pieces. The faceplate right here, and then this whole top piece right here, and then the jaw part. And there's actually a glue line right there that I had filled in, and I'm starting to smooth this over. This has taken so much less time than that ever took. I was able to get this helmet this smooth, the faceplate's pretty much already done. Um, just a couple of little. Uh, okay, so I do still have that helmet. That's actually the white camo helmet sitting back there that was repurposed and um, refilled. Uh, not too much to really digest there. Just the Creosa mod got my print quality much better. Um, because it, it did dial things in. There was less guesswork. There was less having to calibrate the cure yourself where it just ended up working. Um, ooh, a lot of questions. Hold on, let me burn through these real quick. What advice can you give someone buying a 3D printer? I'm super new to all this. Keep watching my videos, Darth Drago, because there's a lot of advice across the channel. <laughs> um, can you do a tutorial of how to download Slicer? No. You click download. <laughs> um, can I still go in? Do it also happen we showed the Red Hood helmet? Yeah, the Red Hood helmet sitting over there. Um, does, why, does PLA use a different temperature? Yes, PLA plus, PLA plus uses a different temperature. It runs about 210 to 220, sometimes 230. That's it, I've been watching pretty much all Order Internet Pro 3 for my son testing. Have a year deployment coming up, so plan to spend time. Oh wow, year, jeez. Good luck, man. Um, thanks everyone, congrats. For those of you the French channel, he made a video about his print room. Yes, look up, um, I have a whole video where I explain my entire print room, all the printers I'm using, what they're doing, um, it's my, one of my more recent videos. It should be vlog number one. Yeah. Vlog one. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Best STL file for the Mark 85 finger. Um, I use the free ones. I like the free ones that are on Thingiverse. The marks they're on the Mark six suit. Um, but the free hand file on DO 3d isn't too bad either. So let's, uh, 
little pinholes to fill back in and then I can actually start painting this. This whole thing was done in the time it took me just to get this faceplate looking like this. So I had a nice consistent print and I, um, I believe this whole helmet took roughly 40 hours to print. So nothing too crazy, three pieces. And I didn't really need to fill it in at all or adjust anything. It glued together, faceplate goes in and out perfectly. I think there was just a little bit of supports I had to trim off. Um, I already started adding a hinge system in there. Oh, let me pause and talk about this hinge system for a second. So this is the Mark 85 helmet right here. There are no DIYs for the hinge system on this. Uh, there are tons and tons of guides for it and I just got so overwhelmed with all of them. I decided to start making my own and it's been much easier. If you want to use one of those guides or whatever, by all means feel free. Um, but what I'm going to do is... I promise I'm working on the helmet motorization tutorial, a much more in-depth guide on how to install the hinge systems in helmets. It's going to be, particularly it's going to be for the free Thingiverse Mark 85. Not that one, the one that's actually showing up in the thumbnail um, in, the, in the corner. Um, you can see it over here. Um, that helmet. Um, so it's going to be a nice just video on the process of putting in the hinges, putting in the servos, making everything open and closed. Then there will be two videos after that. One, how to program it with Arduinos, and one, how to program it, or not program it, with the switch system I use. So it will be three videos total. There's a lot of information, and I want to do them right. So I am, promise you guys, I am working on those videos. Just, just is a much simpler version of, or a simpler version that I think will be to get this to open and close without having to program um, Arduino boards or uh, stepper motors so hopefully that works out and then we'll obviously get the eyes to light up and this will all be motorized and open, open and close. So I got this helmet right um, again Cree Awesome Mod printed this basically by itself downloaded it hit print and eventually I got this um, I used a very, very simple uh, Bondo filler. Um, I think it's called Big Boy over here in the UK. Threw some Bondo on it, sanded, primer filler, rinse, repeat. It's the same uh, type of stuff you would do in body work. You would just Bondo over it. This is not the way. Try to cut it down, spray some primer over it, keep sanding until it's smooth, and eventually this will be ready for paint. Um, what I used to glue it together was a uh, two-part um, CA glue, cyanoacrylate, I think it's called, and it's been absolutely solid. So I'm okay with this. It fits my head, and that's really what matters. This doesn't fit my head. As you can see, this is pretty small, and it's uh, a little too small. This was an accident, but it was a happy accident, um, probably just like your parents might have told you when you were a kid. So what had happened was... I You know who likes a sore loser? Nobody. You could have made the same files in one, but you didn't. So, uh, yeah. If you're not going to be nice, I'm not going to be nice. Don't be a sore loser. You can get out of the, the, the stream. It, it, that's... Come on. He put a lot of work into them. He made six. So, yeah, Mando helmets. Um, I made 11, and they were way better. Oh, that's cool. Um, but you still lost. And I'm now glad you lost because you're being a sore loser. So some great 3D printing groups. Um, yeah, Facebook can be uh, tricky. Um, I actually got pulled into the Mandalorian prints of fell. Oh my god, hey. Nice Mandal helmet, we'll print it, uh, this one. Yeah, this is at 100%, this is the DO3D file. Um, yeah, uh, it's like just a little bit too big. Like, so I'm printing two more right now at 95% and 90%. The 90% will probably be a perfect, actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, it might be too small. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, congrats to the winner. Thank you, Bruno Ibanez, for um, you know treating competitions how they should be treated with respect. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. If you uh, can't take losing, don't play. So, doo -doo -doo. did you get the files from Galactic Armory? Uh, Do 3D. Um, I've heard mixed things about GA. Um, I don't know. I think they have good stuff. Um, so, you're doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, favorite? How much money have you spent on files? Oh, Kieran, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how much. Um, yeah, currently doing a Mando, great studio, has best files, maybe some padding. The winner did not deserve that victory. Uh, okay, that's your opinion. Um, but what is not an opinion is that you're acting like a sore loser. So 
say one more thing about, oh, okay, timed out. Yeah, thank you, Chris, appreciate it. Um, and then you'll just be banned, so that's fair. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm printing out two more helmets, cool. Um, boo, 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 where is it? Yeah, I have no idea how much money I've spent on files. Um, the first DO3D Mark 85 files, they were, I think I got them for 150 bucks. You can get them for like anywhere between 80 to 100 now, depending on discount codes and all that stuff. Um, from there, I've bought a couple helmets here and there. Um, I haven't bought a full suit. Um, I, I have a little partnership with DO3D, so I have pretty good access to their files as long as I don't sell anything. Um, so there's, there's rules about that. Um, oh, so it wasn't random selection giveaway? No, it was not. It was we evaluated, um, uh, myself and things.com went through all the files and we were just, we picked our favorite, you know, we, and we had to both agree on it and we had a, why was it our favorite? What was, what made this one our favorite? Had, wasn't all on quality, it wasn't all on design, it was a mixture of things. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 Black Friday sale was awesome. Yeah, the Black Friday was amazing. Um, how much resizing do you, did you have to do on what, my suit? Not, not much. Not at all really, actually. Um, uh, do, 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 man, y'all are salty. Well, we've never had this salty of a competition, so we're going to put you in timeout. Um, <laughs> why are y'all so rude? Um, that's un unreal. I've done other competitions before. Oh. I know why you guys are salty because you actually had to do work for this one. All my other contests, you just had to like, comment, subscribe, share, and it was effortless. So when you lost, you uh, you were like, oh, okay. I didn't have to put any effort into it. But now I had a competition where you actually had to expend some effort. That's why you're salty. These things happen. Life isn't fair. Let's move on. Yeah, like, just be happy for somebody. I mean, Jesus, it was a, it was a free $400 printer. Like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> during COVID and they can't find Karen. <laughs> the winner was chosen by the stones, the stones of power. What are you doing, Frank? And teaching everyone who's interested to keep. Oh, hey, thanks, George. Um, some folks are just negative, nothing nice to say, and then please, yeah. do 3 d has a license agreement for selling a third party marketplace that is not easily seen on their site, email, the info connection. Uh, do -do. When's the next competition? Uh, December 15th, and I already know two people who aren't gonna be allowed to enter. So that's fun. And yes, I have, I have, I can save your names. So uh, let's see, do, do. what are you going to 3D print all the Mandalorian armor? I might do all the armor. Um, yeah, wow, some people just can't have fun and congratulate the winner. Yeah, it's called a contest. I don't even, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a few. Oh no, I know it was a great idea. Um, the, the idea wasn't mine, by the way. I want people to know that. Fangs.com reached out to me with the contest idea and I liked it. That was a great idea. Like, I liked, oh, you know? There's all these contests about 3D printing. It's a good idea to do one for modeling. That's a really sweet idea. And yep, that was it. So I was 100% on board with that. Um, and he killed it. He absolutely killed it. So he said, yeah, do, do, do. Yeah, all right, let's keep watching and let these negative Nancys uh, go play in the mud. <laughs> um, the next contest will be December 15th and it's gonna be a Sunlu S8 3D printer. Um, I don't know what the rules are going to be yet. Stay tuned. Okay. I was happy with this helmet. This is the Mark 85, but I wanted to test out some new settings. Uh, I messed with the, the, I messed with Cura a little bit more and I wanted to see if I could print the Mark 50 helmet a little bit better just to see quality wise. I did not realize they were not the same size in the file. I totally messed that up. This one was too, a little bit too big for my head. I, I could scale this down one just a little bit. So I figured, hey, this one's probably the same size. Let me scale it down 10%. And now, as you can see, it is way smaller because it was already smaller than this helmet to begin with. I totally didn't scale it. I didn't do any measurements, but it came out, again, pretty friggin' perfect. Um, it's hard to see in this lighting. You can, I mean, you might be able to see some of the layer lines. I didn't do any post work. Ooh, 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I don't know if you can see in this lighting. <laughs> oh Jesus, it's so bad. <laughs> I didn't do any post-processing and it shows. Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty, pretty atrocious. Um, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're going to do the Mando helmet and you said no. Is it cool that you changed your mind though? Yeah, I can change my mind whenever. I change my mind a lot. Um, yeah, agree. I was confused. Didn't know it was a comp. Congrats to the winner. Um, I mean, it was, it, of course it was a competition, you know, like in a sense. Um, you're happily serving in the military overseas and still doing these videos. I personally, hey, thanks. Um, PLA Pro, what's the time? Sorry. That's tiny. It's so tiny. Um, the contest, no, enter the next one. Um, just so we have a chance. Well, the next contest might not be a 3D modeling contest, so it depends. It, it depends. Um, yeah, way too small. Uh, it's like nesting helmets, yeah, so tiny. Layer lines, whoa, yeah. Um, I do want to get into vacuum forming. So that helmet, I didn't scale it. Um, I was going off of the assumption that, oh, this looks kind of big, and all I had to have, all I could have, do should have done was just dropped the Mark 85 helmet onto the bed along with that, and I would have seen how small it was. Um, but I didn't, and I sold that helmet, I think, to somebody. Um, yeah, there's a great evaluation video on the bed printer prototype out there. The next review is based on the orientation and geometry of the print you're making. Oh, that's pretty cool. By the way, the winner of the contest is worse than... Um, so, another sore loser. His name's Ryan Garner. Um, so he's going to be put in timeout like the child that he is. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, so I didn't sand it at all. Um, I just, because once I knew it was too small, I'm like, why am I going to put effort into, uh, why am I going to put a lot of, why am I going to put all this extra effort into this helmet that uh, I'm not going to be keeping? It might be a shelf topper. So I just painted it. Um, I just painted it really, really quickly. Uh, and I, it was a cool shelf topper. You know, it was, it was pretty neat. Um, so let's keep watching. Do, 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 do. I mean, you might be able to see some of the layer lines. I didn't do any post work on this. I didn't do any sanding, no filling, no PLA smoothing, nothing. I took it out, broke off some of the supports, scuffed it up a little bit, and painted it. Painted it, uh, um, I think this is Colonial Red, this is like a Rust-Oleum or Krylon Gold, and a Krylon Flat Nickel. Painted it, popped everything off, and the faceplate fits perfect. I am so mad that I printed this thing too small because it might have very well just replaced that whole helmet. And this was printed in just two pieces. Uh, I printed it with supports in the back like that, just standing up, and it came out, I mean, absolutely perfect for what I needed. So what's this all amount to? Why do any of you care that you're watching this? Um, why do I care to be sharing this? Uh, I want to. I think it'd be cool to have um, another good little documentation of an at-home build. I thought this would be something that would be incredibly out of my price range. Uh, 3D printer technology has come down so much that it, it's something you can do at home now. And if you have a couple of those little skills to Bondo and paint and fiberglass, um, this is something you could absolutely do. Uh, there's so much stuff on the internet now for tips and tricks and guides that uh, I wanted to give it a shot and I'm hoping documenting it will at least give people the confidence to go and maybe try something like this, uh, a budget build that doesn't look absolutely terrible um, through the whole process I'm probably gonna be focusing mostly on the mark 85 suit the one from endgame though I did end up liking this helmet a little more the design from infinity war the mark 50 I'm just really mad that this is too small but I don't know I think I'm gonna focus on the mark 85 um, the next video hopefully this will be painted and maybe the motors will be in for the automatic faceplate. Um, who knows? It depends on if those Chinese motors get here any slower. I have the switches, I have the wires, I have the plan, I have the hinges, but I'm just waiting on the actual driver motors to show up because I had to be cheap and get them from the other side of the planet. So uh, if you guys have any questions about anything you saw, 
more details on my uh, 3D printer setup, more details on the programs I'm using and how I'm scaling and what print setups I'm using. Message me, drop a comment. Uh, if you want to know more about how I got this helmet to look like this, if you have your own tips or guides, or you want to tell me I'm just an idiot for trying any of this or uh, want to yell at me for not using ABS, feel free. Uh, I'll, I'll welcome the conversation. I don't really mind. And hopefully I can give somebody just a little bit more insight on how to do this whole project. So stay tuned and thanks for tuning in. Now we have audio. Oh boy, oh boy. Was I thinking about doing the Mark 50? Did I completely erase that from my mind? Oh man. Hmm. Was that a thing? Was I like on the shelf about something? Stop it. it was absolute dark. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I just had to block the first person from my channel. So that's cute. Um, okay, but, 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 but you should you should even be able to use mesh mixer and make it a single shot print if you have the bed size. What guy were you following to build it? I wasn't. There was no guide. I was the guide. Um, what I wasn't, all right, what I didn't really want to say in that video, and I do remember this, um, because I didn't want to, A, I hadn't found it all yet, and but like I didn't want to be that guy like in a video saying, um, there's no information out there, you know, because then somebody would comment and be like, yeah, there is, you just didn't look. Well, now I think I can say it. Back when I started making those videos, the Mark 85 videos, there wasn't. Um, there was tons of EVA foam and Pepicura and all of that. The RPF was a wealth of knowledge I found out later. Um, but there wasn't much in terms of 3D printing. That's why I started recording my own videos. Um, and any videos you did find with it, they weren't, they weren't detailed or they were explaining th over explaining things or they just never finished. Um, and I'll say that now, there really wasn't that much information out there. Um, so, <laughs> I sense a band stick forthcoming. I mean, he can post all he wants, I don't care. Um, so I'm just gonna ignore it when my mods handle it. Uh, do, 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 do. Anyone in the US able to find decent PLA plus? Master Chief helmet a couple years ago. Who won the giveaway? Um, who won the giveaway? His name was Edward Black. Um, you can go check him out. Uh, he did all six objects of power. Um, uh, look at the guy doing free tattoos. <laughs> getting old, buddy. What are you talking about? Who's getting old? Oh, sorry, new to your channel. That's cool. You're in the Discord after this. Oh, he's probably gonna post in the Discord and be a jerk. Um, fair play to the hater. He got, he just gave, frankly, like 50 extra views. <laughs> yeah, true. Every time he logs out, comes back in. Um, he's probably downvoting the video, but whatever. Um, do 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 Amazon on sales. I like model price. Model price is pretty cheap. Um, that's what was. Th that's what this was printed in. Model price PLA plus, and that e e layer shift. Eh, eh. Gross. Looks huge. Um, yeah. So a lot has changed in that video. I I feel I have some semblance of. Um, I know what I'm doing, in a sense. Um, where are the designs for the contest again? I have got to see how awesome these kids design. This kid. This little. That little kid's so fangs.com and then you're gonna type in the search um frankly built no underscores just frankly built and search it'll give you everybody who answered the contest uh, there's a lot of cool stuff um excuse me so uh, yeah like starboost printed so much easier um i just the things i've learned in that in this past year um literally in my time hop today on facebook it was a picture i think i i think uh I think I actually took a screenshot of it. Hold on, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. Hold on, where is it? There it is. Hopefully. All right. So, focus. There it is. Oh, oh it was right there. That. So that was a year ago on my Facebook, and the suit was finally fully printed. One year ago, um, and only a few months ago, you know, October-ish, it became like wearable, wearable, and I'm still trimming things. I'm still adjusting things. This is something I paid for because I didn't use a program like Armorsmith um, to scale it to my body. And the reason I didn't scale it to my body is because I didn't want to mess with the proportions of the model. I wanted to make myself fit into it um, to maintain the height, to maintain the proportions. Um, and that was, I'm, I'm, I, I'm paying for that still. Um, 
So it, it's still it's still fun. Um, what are the designs for contests here? How did the layer shift happen? This layer shift right here happened during a filament change on, on um, my Ender 5 Plus. I accidentally bumped the gantry while I was changing the filament. It had paused from the filament runout sensor and then it shifted just a little bit. But I can fix that. It's not bad at all. I can sand that down. You've come a long way since that video. Yeah, it's been crazy. Frank, he was, be he was being sarcastic, brother. He wants to see... Oh, yeah, I, okay, I misread that. Uh, where, are the where are the designs for the contest yet? I have got to see how awesome. Oh, okay. All right. See, I just I skimmed it. Go ahead. Go see. Go go see his award-winning designs. Um, I'm actually downloading some of the contest models now. Yeah, they are. They're they're gonna be fun. I like. I'm gonna print a few of them, like straight up. Um, who had won the giveaway? Progo man. Progo man. Uh, his name is Edward Black. Um, Eduardo Black. Edward Black. I'm already forgetting. Um, I just want to like rip, just rip this open. I'm kidding. It's beautiful. So other things that have changed. And it's kind of ironic that I just, we just saw a video of me messing up scaling something. So guess what I didn't scale? <laughs> this is uh, Nova's helmet um, from the Nova Corps. You know, if you're, if you're a comic fan, you know, you'll see. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't scale it. It looked big enough. It wasn't. So this, I just want this as a shelf topper, like straight up. I want to see how good of a gold finish I can get on this. So it's actually going to be a fun contrast, um, getting the, the Mando, you know, best car steel look, and then the Nova gold look. Um, this is how off the scaling is. I can fit Nova inside Mando. Um, did you orient it flat at the bottom, or your trick of the, the ball to eliminate supports? I printed it actually standing up exactly like that. I didn't tilt it back because what that did is it made the supports for the lens come all the way to the ground. By printing it like this, um, it just filled the, the supports for the lens inside the eye holes. Um, yeah, this is all one shot. This is all one part. When is Emily giving away hers? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, Nova. Yeah, that's cool. Um, it, yeah, it did. It came out. This, this was a 22-hour a print. Yeah, no supports inside though. I support blocked the inside and I am a fan, look at that. It only made a little bit of BS in the inside. Um, you can just see it's squiggly in there, but the top came out perfect. There was no center supports in this and it worked. I've been so scared to try it. And yeah, I try it on a two and a half day print for the first time because I'm just that type of person. Um, and it worked beautifully, look at it. Look, did it with this, did it with Nova, came out fine. Um, yeah, so. Support blocking the center of domes and helmets, it works. Um, just saying, I might have to reevaluate some other videos. So, if it would have stretched over your face and been skin tight, <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. Um, smaller than I thought, yeah. Nova, Nova, yeah, the people of Xandar are tiny. Don't you have a post it? Yeah, I got rid of the post it literally two days before that. Um, what will you use for the visor on Mando? Just clear plastic. It's easy. I'm planning to print the Iron Man Mark 25 Striker, but I'm worried about I won't get recognized as Iron Man. What do you think about? You're right. You probably won't. The same with Shotgun, the uh, Mark 40. Um, uh, is there a file for the Spear Mando? Not yet. What did you print the Mando helmet on? My Ender 5 Plus with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. It came out beautiful, aside from the layer shift. Like everything came out great. This is gonna sand like a joke. I can't wait to actually sand this thing down. Um, I'm with Chris Robertson. You should go ahead and print everything in TPU. <laughs> um, is it the My Mini Factory Thingiverse one? No, this is the DO3D one. And then this I got off a of CG Trader for like 10 bucks. And it, uh, I have the star too, it's just in the other room. Um, oh my God, he is relentless. How thick are your walls? Uh, I just, whatever stock thickness is for a 0.6 millimeter. Um, yes, this is 100%. And I have, a, I have a pretty big head, and it fits pretty nicely. This is the way, man. Do you know the way, man? 
How long did it take to print the man? This one, so this is since this is my first one, this was a two and a half day print. I have two more going right now, and they'll be about one and a half days. I'll buy the, no, the little Nova helmet for my nephew. Uh, DM me on Instagram, I might take you up on that offer. I'm so tempted to get under five plus. Yeah, get an under five plus. You're right. Um, do you sand the finer details, or do you just both? I'll, I'll alternate between it. Um, now I just need the rest of the suit. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not tall enough for Mando. Um, and I've got to print some of these amazing. Yeah, Matt, aren't they great? Um, thank you for acknowledging that everybody put hard work into the files. Um, so that's that's fun. That's totally fun. Um, do, do, do. Okay, yes. So what else? So we have the helmets here. We have the filament all the way back to painting. We've talked about that. We've talked about the upgrades. What was in that first video? Um, we don't really have time to go for the second video. I would like to do another one of these one day. Um, I think they'd be kind of fun. Um, but if it makes you guys, I also want to show you guys these. These things, look at them, these. So let me get some light over here. <laughs> Another Devin, you think we didn't notice, but we did. Looking through the Fangs entry, my boss just said, are you watching that damn Iron Man guy again? <laughs> well, tell your boss, yes, you are. A little padding, that should fit perfectly. Do you think the Mandalorian helmet is 82%? Oh, 82% will be way too small, oh my god. The other Devin was Devin Malone, this other. Yeah, there's a, there's one good Devin. Be the good Devin. Be the good one. My hair is jacked up today. This man, this 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 COVID hair is killing me. Um, marathon, easiest way to scale helmets to your head is to download Scandi Pro on your phone, scan your shoulders up, save as an STL, put it in a slice and drop the helmet. That's a very good idea. Um, I have a printer designed for printing ABS. Is there any drawbacks to using ABS? Um, no real drawbacks. It has good, if, if you can print in it, if you're already printing in ABS, go for it. But ABS can warp while you're printing it, so dimensional accuracy can be affected. But if you dial that out, go for it. It's strong. Uh, I think ABS is harder to sand. Yeah, I think. Sort of door open. Weird. Um, cool. So these are two Stormbreaker axe uh, hammerheads. And let's see if I can get some light. Oh, gross. Natural light. Um, so you can see how smooth this came out. This side might be a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That one. Sorry. And then this one right here. So these were printed. So this was printed on my original CR-10S, this one. And this was printed on my new CR-10S Pro. My original CR-10S is still, 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 still keeping up with it. Um, with the 0.6 millimeter nozzle, this took half the time to print as this one. 0.6 millimeter nozzle, 0.4 millimeter nozzle. The support interface was perfect on both of them. It, it just br broke away magnificently. They, I printed them face down like this. Um, so they came out great. So even after a year and a half, my CR-10S is still keeping up with the newer printers. Obviously I had to go and upgrade it. I had to um, do a little bit more fine tuning on it. I had to manually level the bed. Um, it's like a double storm breaker. Uh -huh. so, um, I'm like, what can I do for the Mandalorian helmet? Doesn't fit my printer. You have to cut it up, Gianni. I'm sorry. That's, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the difference between the CR10S and the CR10S Pro? Uh, that would be, the Pro has a more rigid frame, has a touch screen. Um, the the Pro V1 has an induction level, an easy able sensor, and the Pro V2 has a BL touch, which is just a little. It, it's better. It's it's better. Um, they both have silent main boards. They both come with an all metal extruder. They both come with a, um, for the pros, sorry, the, the pros come all upgraded. That's the point of it. You don't have to upgrade the pros. They come pre-upgraded. Um, but you don't need to sand ABS when you have a bottle. Ooh, yes, you can use acetone smoothing. You're correct. Um, let's do, do you have some filament colors easier to sand, finish, and paint than others? Don't use white. Do not print props in white filament because when you start sanding it you can't see where the flat spots are 
<laughs> you'll have to prime it and then sand it and then prime it. Use gray, black, red. Um, gray works really well. I like black though. Do uh, do do. So yes. So the printer, the original printer, still works. Um, things I would do differently this time. I'd probably scale the suit better. I'd actually just scale it to fit me just a little bit better. I could have still had the height increase that I have on this suit the, to bring me to six feet. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much I would do different. Um, it was all growing, it was all growing pains. Um, obviously I just had never done anything like that before. The biggest thing that would set me back through all of it, the biggest hindrance I had was not testing things for myself and relying too much on just hearsay. Oh, it worked for that person, it must work for me. Or, oh, that, you know, I wasn't trusting my gut sometimes. Um, and I, I've been working on cars and, you know, toy models and stuff my whole life. So there was a lot of things I was like, I think this would work, but no one's saying it would work, so I did never tried it. Like using the palm sander. Um, like spray painting in certain ways that I do. Uh, you, you know, there was just these things that I just was scared to test out and I don't really know why. Um, so, you know, even when you watch my videos, I there's tons of stuff I probably do wrong. You know, I'm not saying my content is like the end all be all. I'm putting out what I know, and if what I know and if I say something that is wrong, you know, uh, that that could happen. I'm only human. Um, so if you see me say something and you're like, eh, I don't know about that. Um, let me try it this way. Go and do that. Um, the amount of things I have printed does not equate to you or me potentially being smarter than you. Uh, that, that's not how that works. I have just printed a lot of stuff. You could figure, uh, you could change one new perfect setting in Cura that's just been hiding from everybody, you know? Like, oh, if you adjust this, 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 and then tighten this, and then do, and your prints will be beautiful and quick. You know, you could figure that out. Um, just because nobody's figured it out yet doesn't mean it's not out there to discover. So. Uh, Take everything with a grain of salt, you know, and uh, just just experiment. Um, that's 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 something I would have loved to tell my tell my past self. Just you know, you have these gut feelings, go with them. Stop listening to everything everybody else is saying when you have this feeling that it might be wrong. So, but at the flip side, I did have I got great advice from a lot of people throughout the um, throughout the whole process, and I met a lot of cool people. And look at us now. So. Ears. Oh my god, those look like, like, uh, yeah, those look like something. Those, um, some weird anime waifu kind of thing. Uh, do, do, do. Wait, I always use white. <laughs> oh no. Um, didn't you say you had a problem with black filaments? No, I, black filaments have been great for me. Um, I've been seriously thinking about the S5. Stop seriously thinking about the S5 and get the CR, get the, the CR10 Max. Um, Amazing stream as always. I had to get up early, so good night. Hey, good night, George. Thank you for tuning in. Different filaments change the material properties. Yes, they do. Do you have a video on how to scale an Iron Man helmet to your own size? In my scaling video, um, there I do touch on how you could different ways you could scale helmets. Um, or you could look up Uncle, Uncle Jesse's channel. Uh, he has his cosplay calipers. Uh, those are pretty cool. Um, those are really good. I think he has a good way for scaling helmets too. Um, do 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 do. What do you think about the program Creality Slicer? You mean, oh, Creality Slicer, it's based on Cura? Yeah. Yeah. What was the armor scaling website you mentioned? That would be um, 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 Armor Smith or the Armored Garage. How much filament does it take to print a helmet? I can print a Iron Man helmet in half a roll, about 500 grams. Man, this Mandalorian helmet took about 600 to 700. I think it took 700. The ones I'm printing right now, the 90 and 95% ones, they're taking about 600 to 650. Um, and I think I also did, um, this was at a 10% infill, where those other helmets are at a 7%. Do I need to have multiple printers to make a big project? No, you do not. You do not. It only speeds up the process. That's it. You do not need a bunch of printers. That's a meme. Thanks, Frank. Hey, no problem. Uh, that's why I kind of put them back on. I'm like, this is, we haven't given you guys a meme in a while. Did your friend upgrade to the silent board? I hear it's kind of loud. Um, what? My friend has an under five. Yeah, it is loud. I have a video on the silent board, so yes, it is loud. 
Uh, have you seen the CR30? Things crazy. It is crazy. Uh, we're going to do this last half hour, just a basic general Q&A about 3D printing, and I'll answer the questions that I haven't made videos on. How about that? <laughs> so we can keep that kind of rolling. Um, thank you again for everybody who entered the contest. Um, if you're a sore loser, eat me. I don't care. Uh, cry about it somewhere else. Um, to everybody who participated and congratulated the winner, thank you for, again, participating. There will be more contests. Um, and I, I really appreciate it. This is really cool being able to do this type of stuff, even though some people aren't appreciative of it all the time. I uh, can't please everybody all the time, and uh, that's just something you, know, you have to live with. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. It's really fun doing this. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Oh, God, so much talking. Is it Kira with Creality Splash? Yeah, it's Kira with Creality Splash. Uh, what percent do you scale those busts in the background to be life size? I have no idea, man. A lot. That bust right there is scaled to 200 percent so a lot um do you use simple i use kira i use kira yeah is there a silent board for the cr10 yes there is good devin yes there is <laughs> thanks for having the contest thank you for participating in the contest if you did and if you didn't regardless thank you you know thank you for supporting pros and cons of the under five plus pros it's amazing it's stable you can print with it fast um it's pretty user friendly Cons, it's kind of loud and it takes up a lot of space. That's about it. The only cons. What should a person start with if there was a beginning to 3D print? Beginning, to, if they're a beginner to 3D printing, start small, man. Make make tiny stuff. Make little things. Make little projects. Little little butter robots and stuff. Start tiny. Don't don't try to conquer the world uh, on your second print. It goes bad. I promise. Um, would you ever have thought you'd be giving away a printer when you first started? Oh my God, no. Are you kidding me? No. This is amazing. Um, how do you get those DBZ characters so realistic? Those? I didn't print those DBZ figures. I bought those. I say that all the time. Sorry, you probably missed that in some videos. I, yeah. Everything back here is printed except the Dragon Ball Z figures. I buy those. I'm not painting those. Oh my God, no. Um, what you do is appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. Um, if I print an Iron Man helmet, sand it, paint it, and articulate it for someone, roughly how much does it cost? cost do I ask? That's, Dylan, that's something you got to figure out yourself, man. I'm sorry. Um, I have no idea. Uh, I sell my helmets for a certain price point based on the labor I put into them. I have a whole video on that if you want to go watch that. Um, Emmett Williams. Um, what happened? Uh, da -da, da -da. Oh, that's, that's cute, Emmett. <laughs> uh, Emmett Williams, for the next contest, can you... Oh, you're in timeout. doesn't matter. <laughs> um, good night. I need to go to bed. Iron Man, thing, uh, Knoxville. Thank you for the opportunity to enter the contest, bro. How come I'm not on the walls? And it takes two to learn. I uh, love your one video with all the Marvel stuff. I have, I have, a, I have a lot of those videos. <laughs> Silly. Um, I start at 120 for raw print. Da, 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 da. Uh, he printed the mirror, too. Yes, I did. <laughs> it's mirror PLA. It's amazing. Um, I know there's iffy. I know you were iffy on the ending cubic printers coming from a guy with seven of them, two predators, two Sharon, Mega X Proton, and I think I can say after a year of printing they're worth. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, I just I don't comment on them much because I don't know much about them. So uh, iffy's a good word, but I haven't I haven't heard anything about the ending cubics that I didn't hear about Creality. You know, so obviously if you get into them and you learn their pros and cons, and you can fix them. Um, same with the artilleries. Um, uh, I'm starting the Keyblade. Any tips? Go for it. <laughs> that, no, it's a pretty simple print. It's a pretty simple project. Man, I'm getting so dried out from all this salt. <laughs> I had some, uh, it's good. I had some French fries, um, and since we're in England, there was no salt on them. I can use some of it. Um, man, I'm, do you know a great Thingiverse Mandalorian helmet? I do not. Um, I, do 3D. It, it was, it, it worked. It was good. Um, Thanks for the chat. See y'all. Hey, take it easy, Scott. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> it's bad for your health. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite color? Gold. I like gold. Thank you. It's bad for your health. <laughs> Hey, real quick, um, sorry, I, okay, let me read this question real quick. Getting an under three V2 for Christmas, should an all metal hot end and a BMG extruder be the first? No, 
no, don't get an all metal hot end um, and a BMG extruder, or do you have suggestions? I was printing ABS on my old printer, but the acrylic frame cracked. Unless you know already you're gonna be printing ABSs and exotics, then yeah, but I wouldn't, so. Just started printing the Sunday Pet G and it prints amazing. Yes, it does. Love your content, getting my first 3D printer tomorrow, CR10S Pro V2, yes. Um, sorry if you got the question a lot. Is the profile included in Cura any good or does it? So Cura doesn't have a Pro V2, unless somebody can confirm this on Cura 4.8. I'm using Cura 4.6. It does not have a Pro V2 profile. Use the normal Pro profile and it's fine. 4.8 might have it. The only difference is an Easy Able and a BL Touch. It works just fine. Um, not an official Coke sponsor. Nice Austin Power reference. <laughs> oh, of course. Um, the next contest should be a video game one. I don't know about that. That's very outlandish for my channel. Do you recommend those small drying containers for filament? Nope, because I don't use them. If you live somewhere humid though, yes. Um, have you ever thought about making a lightsaber? I want to buy a lightsaber. I want to buy a custom Iron Man themed lightsaber. Got to find one though. Um, love the pink and purple Iron Man helmet. Reminds me of the Sentinels. The Sentinels, yes. Thank you so much. Somebody finally said it. Okay. I'm plugging something right now. I don't do this often, but I genuinely like this thing. Some of you probably already saw it on Instagram. Deal with it, I don't care. This thing is cool, I want it plugged on my YouTube, and it's probably gonna get its own video because that's how much I actually enjoy playing with this damn thing. Um, can you confirm 4.8 does not have a V2 profile? Gotcha. These are called GeoBenders. They are these cool, This, this I promise this will take like two or five minutes. They are these cool, cubes and they come in different colors and they they're magnetic and they fold open into different shapes so you can make just a bunch of different stuff with them because reasons why wouldn't you you want to make stuff with them let's see we can do that and then they lock and they fold and they do all this cool neat stuff da, da, da. Um, they sent, they hit me up on Instagram and they were like, hey, can we send you these products because you make stuff and I don't even know, I don't know what their thought process was, honestly. Um, I wasn't gonna question it because free stuff. Look, you can do that. You can do all this stuff. And it just, it just, it falls. And you just kind of turn it inside out and you can just make a bunch of just stuff. That's a new, sh I've never made that one before. <gasps> what? That's pretty cool. Um, they hit me up and they're like, hey, we're gonna send you two of these. Give us your honest opinion. And I was just, I'm gonna be honest, and even if they see this video, I was just accepting free stuff. I'm like, yeah, sure, okay, cool, let's do it. I love this thing. Um, you guys have probably seen in my videos, I fidget. I, I, if I'm holding something, I am playing with it. I am fidgeting with it. Um, some people have asked if I have, I do, if I'm like, oh, you have ADHD? Like, not in a rude sense. No, I don't. I've never been diagnosed with it. I've never, I don't wanna say I have it, but I do fidget with things, fidget spinners, all that stuff. This thing satiates me in, an awesome way. Like it is just fun to play with. Um, I don't have a link down below. I'll probably add one. Um, it's called GeoBender. But what I like about them is you can build with them. They're like these also, they're also these cool building blocks. So you get them one into one shape and then one into another. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, cool. So you get one into another and then they stack and they lock together. Um, and I, I really, uh, I really enjoy them. Um, so if you have kids who like fidgeting or I don't know, you're just looking for like, go check out their, go check out their website. Cause there's tons of different like designs and stuff that you can do. Um, I, they gave me a discount code. They gave me, yeah, they gave me a discount code to put down below. Um, I think, I think it's FBT 10, just like, um, the, uh, the deal 3d, um, discount code. So just go. Go look into that if you are interested in this item. Um, but like, I really like these things. Uh, my wife ordered a bunch for her work because um, they're just, oh yeah, so here's one shape and then they lock together. Um, oh, I have it, I have it wrong, sorry. Me too. Get the green one out, my bad. Oh no, I don't remember how to set it up. Oh no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, go, go, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There we go. 
Okay. Cool. Yeah, they all form together. So yeah, Geobender. They're really cool. I like them, and I, I want to like keep working with them. Look at, I want that one. Look at that. It's like, that's what you can do with eight of them. They're really cool. This one's like Planet Earth. This one's all like bees and stuff. Oh, there is a bee one, isn't there? <gasps> Honeycombs. Yeah, they're cool. Go check them out. Thank you for sending me this stuff. It's really, uh, I want more of them. Send me, send me more. Send me more. Hey, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Yeah, go uh, definitely check that out. Um, back on topic. Right, no preview. Okay. Bro, that's trippy. Yeah, that is, yeah. Uh, my brain hurts watching this. Should I wait to get the Ender CR6 Max or should I reckon? Um, I'm skeptical about the new printers only because it seems that some people are having problems with them already. And um, that's typically like when there's a new product like that out, it can, um, oh, got it. All right, I had to fold it inside out. So see, now, now it's locked in there. And it, 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 yeah, it's like, it's an earth, it's a globe. Yeah. You're gonna see those in some videos probably. Um, I really like those. I, yeah, they're gonna be fun. Um, it's not so much making, but it is, it is, I feel like if you're a maker, you can appreciate these little fidgety things. I feel like we all fidget. I feel like every single one of us likes do it, constantly having something in our hands working, and those are actually kind of cool for that. Um, F in the chat if you can relate. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, should I, yeah, the CR6 Max looks good, but the thing about Creality that I've started noticing is they're kind of just mixing and matching features and stuff now. Um, the CR6 Max, I don't think it's really much bigger than an Ender 5 Plus, if at all. Isn't it 400 cubed? Um, so, I don't know. Um, some people are having bugs with some of the newer printers. Uh, it depends on what you want to print, man. Uh, my friend has one of those, they're super cool. Hey, oh, that's awesome. Um, I do want to print flexible for racing drones as well as armor and 3D printed pew pews. Um, thank you, first of all, Thank you for saying pew pew so this video doesn't get flagged anywhere. I really appreciate that. Um, so I say pew pews. Pew pews are fine. Um, do you watch Off the Ranch? Good, good channel. Uh, his Abandoned Mansion. Go check out Abandoned Mansion, by the way. It's awesome videos. <laughs> um, what is it called again? Geo who's it? <laughs> Geo Banner, yeah. Um, did, have you made Thor's Hammer? Right there. Thor's Hammer. Be safe out there, man. I have to go give away my nephew worth it. Hey, take it easy. Um, F in the chat. <laughs> hey, for one of your next suits, you should make the classic Iron Man suit from DO3D. The design looks easy to print and it'll be cool. Um, Kim Pug, Kim Pug. I saw that actually. It's like the classic Iron Man suit, but like almost updated a little bit. What do you think the Mark 85 was modeled after? It would be cool to have though, standing next to it though. Sorry, my phone died. Is a Mando helmet file free? No, not this one, no. I live in Texas, it gets hot as heck in cars. I read PLA is bad to leave in cars. Yes, it is. So I started with ABS years ago, built an Ikea lack enclosure, the frame just didn't last on my printer. That's fair. Um, yeah, so if you are already versed in printing ABS, you know the pros and cons of it, carry on. But you might, could also look into PETG. Um, I don't know in hot sun, print something in PETG and leave it in your car. See what happens. I mean, that's, that's the best way to test something, you know? Throw it in your oven. Um, at like 120 degrees, you know, it's just, no, it didn't warp 140, 150, see how high you can get it. Um, cause the melting point of PETG is like 240, 230, 240, 250. When it starts to warp, that is a completely different temperature gradient. So I love Matt Cat. Yeah. He's funny. Um, he, he used to, he, at first he annoyed me when he would like just his videos. I'm like, ah, oh, what is with this guy? But then I found myself addicted to it and I was like, I'd be friends with him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, finally getting back into it. I want to print flexible nylons for drone racing. Yeah, so that all metal hot end will probably be best. Um, this week, I'm going to try to get up a lot of build videos. I'm literally trying to get up. I'm, this past week, I'm sorry, there was only one video uploaded and it really wasn't that great of a video. It was just me putting on the Iron Man suit, which some people you know, wanted to see how that whole process went. I'm glad it's out there. But I did, my goals for this upcoming week are to have my Samus helmet video done and uploaded, the Z-Sword, Yarnborn, Deadpool, and the Energy Blade. Five videos I'm gonna try to film this week. Will all of them get up? I don't know, there is no live stream 
next weekend. When is the 12th? Yeah, we can we can do that. Um, the next giveaway, I think we're gonna start it on the 20th. I know that it's close to Christmas and it will probably run through Christmas. It'll be like a holiday, New Year, Christmas kind of thing. Um, but I do want to take next weekend off. I don't want to live stream on the 13th or else I'd have to live stream on the 13th and start that giveaway. I don't want to do that. So you guys will be patient. Um, and if you don't want, and if you aren't in the mood to lose a contest, don't enter the contest. Just saying. Ah, da, 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 finally get back. Any tips? Just got a CR-10S and the glass bed is not as adhesive as my Ender 3 Pro magnetic bed, so I tend to tape my rafts. Get a new bed. Get rid of that crappy glass bed and get a magnetic bed or an ultra base bed. One of these. I, I, I now suggest the ultra base bed. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can print PLA or Pet G. Look at that. Oh, you guys want to see the camera? You guys want to see the setup? Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, woo, trippy. Yeah. Um, off the ranch and demo ranch was awesome. I met Matt in a Whataburger and oh, that's cool. I was thinking about the TPU for some parts of the arm and neck piece in the Batman. That's fair. He seems so cool. Can I see the Deadpool? I don't have the Deadpool. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but the Sun of Pet G, it print white, kind of clear. Some, you know, so some people for light up props, they will print in white PLA or white plastics um, because it gives a good translucency up and it's, it's a little bit more flexible than clear PLA. Anybody who's ever printed in clear PLA probably can tell you it's, it's brittle. Um, um, yeah. Why do you never mention trying resin printers? Because I don't have resin printers. I can't talk about them. Um, I do want to get a resin printer one day, but not while I'm still in England. Wherever we end up next, I want to get a, um, the Phenom L. I'm saving up for it. Um, I, want a big, I want a big old resin printer so I can make molds and start casting things and get really down to business. Um, any all metal for Pet G? No, you don't need all metal for Pet G. Okay, I know nothing about Pet G. I would love to have to make no change. Yeah, so yes, so trend killer. So then yes, look, oh wait, no, that's that's yeah, somebody else. Art DJ Rala Soul, my bad. Um, when you print models with finer details, what size nozzle do you use? Um, I still use my 0.8, unless it's like super fine detail, then I'll use the 0.4 on my Ender 3. Um, yeah, clear, clear pet G is, I, I saw the message, you can delete it, but I saw it. Um, it wasn't bad though. Uh, yeah, clear, clear PLA is brittle. Um, the, the energy blade behind me is clear PLA and, uh, it was pretty brittle when I was sanding it. I have a magnetic bed, but sometimes the plastic doesn't stick to the bed. Do you know why? Because your bed isn't clean or you're not at the right temperature. Clean, you clean your bed with alcohol, clean your bed with alcohol, use alcohol to clean your bed, clean it. Clean your bed. Alcohol cleans beds. I somehow ended up playing with this again. Damn it. Um, yeah. Isn't the Phenom like three thousand dollars? It's it's like twenty two, twenty three hundred. I know. I really want one. Uh. Do, 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 do. Thanks for your input. I appreciate it. Trend killer. No problem. So, real quick, I want to talk about this since we're talking about beds. The reason. Okay. I was using magnetic beds, but. I started to lose adhesion with them. They, nothing was sticking, so I had to keep taping my prints down. I would tape the raft down just to get it to survive. And every time I taped it down, I added more and more glue inadvertently to the bed. So then I, um, if you have a magnetic bed, get goof off, the, the sticker remover stuff. And I soaked the whole bed in it for like an hour. And look, how, th look this is a, I, I used this bed for a year. Look how, look at the shape it's in. You can see where my prime line was always. You can see where the nozzle dug in a little bit, but this bed is in beautiful shape and it, I, it still prints like a champ. So just clean your magnetic bed occasionally, like not like soap and water, like strip it down and it'll, the adhesion you'll get on it is amazing. Or if you ever plan on printing pet G, get the ultra base bed because the backside is perfectly smooth, level glass. Hey, look, you can see me. Um, so it, yeah, they're both great beds. They're both absolutely great beds. I, I hate the stock glass clear beds. They're useless. Hit send in the middle of the sentence. Yeah, I saw it. It's cool. Um, would you recommend a DO3D Iron Man helmet file over a Thingiverse file? Yes, but there are good free Thingiverse helmets. So it depends on what model you want. There is a very good... I would recommend the Thingiverse Mark 85 helmet over the DO3D. However, the CG Trader Akira Yuming Mark 85, in my opinion, is the best one. There are... There's a really good Mark III um, helmet on Thingiverse right now with hinges and everything. 
That one's pretty cool. So it just depends on the mark you want. Um, have you printed or made a video of the end game arc reactor? I found a file in the Thingiverse, but I'm having a hard time with the lighting, getting the light to shine through the center. I have not done a video on it. Um, I want to print a new one because I just sent out my old one to somebody. Yeah. Sorry. The, the, the PO phone is supposed to be good, but I don't know myself. Yeah, no, it, it's good. It's definitely a good printer. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Any, oh, and uh, guys, if you remember from the other update videos, I still have this. This is the original dunce cap from my printer. The printer that would wear this dunce cap mostly is gone, actually. Uh, I, that's the one I sold, my yellow CR-10S. It is no longer with us. Um, so I don't know where the dunce cap's gonna go now. Maybe, there's really no room to put it on the, uh, the printers underneath my table, but um, the PEI beds. Um, I have two PEI beds on the way. I have one from TH3D and then I have one from Fulament. So we're gonna get to test those out too. I ordered a PEI bed for my CR10 Max. Um, I wanna try that out. So the Mando helmet was DO3D, right? Yes, Devin. Yes, good Devin. Uh, this helmet is DO3D. I have the whole file set. Um, it was like, it was pretty cheap. It was, it was a good price. Um, Whoa, I probably have like like Instagram messages of people just being mad at me and yelling at me like, oh my God, I can't believe I did this. And burr, 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 burr. Yeah, I'm mocking you because you're being this little girly sore loser. Um, ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. Put the dunce hat on Iron Man. I will pray. I respect brother. PC. Yeah, yellow CR tennis. Well, you need to 3D print a robot arm so it can wear it. Yes, I do. I think you have something coming in soon that needs the dunce cap. Now the question is, how, how to get paint to reliably stick to PETG? Its surface properties make that much tougher than ABS PLA. Good priming. Sand and prime, sand and prime. How long did it take you to print that? That was a, was it hard to size for the big pellet? This, that is, this is actually printed in carbon fiber um, uh, uh, metal. Um, I know it looks like paper. I did a really good paint job on it, but you can hear it. Very solid. Um, I can hit myself in the head with it, and it it, it, it hurt. It, this is heavy. Yeah, very special high high grade printer. So I'm really considering getting an Ender Five as my first printer. Thoughts? The Ender Five is pretty good. Um, it's kind of in a weird spot because it's not that much bigger than an Ender Three, but for the price, you could probably just save up a little bit more and get a CR10S. The Ender Five, the Ender Five, and the Ender Five Pro, they're kind of falling into this weird. Um, Weird area of price range, so it's it's odd. It's very odd. Um, Fifteen minutes left in the stream, guys, and we're gonna get we're gonna get off and we're gonna call it a night. Um, I might do a post stream stream on the Discord. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, I will post in the Discord if I'm going to. Um, give the dunce hat to Bad Devin. <laughs> hey, hey, Bad Devin, give me oh give me your address. Oh, you can. I blocked you from the channel. Bummer. Uh, Get the five, yeah, the five plus is like the only Ender five that's kind of worth it right now. You should print those robots that were in Tony Stark's house. You mean Dummy and uh, Dumb You? So Dummy was the robot arm that used the fire extinguisher. Dumb You was his tripod, was the one who held the camera, in case you didn't know. Um, yeah. What else is coming up on the channel, guys? Um, Star Boost is coming along. I got some plans for the Mark 85, some videos for that. Um, I have the Infinity Stone props. The Soul Stone is almost done. The Soul Stone holder, I've just been slacking on it. And uh, I don't think it's going to live up to expectations. So I'm just like not rushing on it. I just, I hope you guys like it. Um, I, I think it's a good idea. I think it'll be cool on the shelf. Um, getting the, C the Pro V2, anything I should change right away? Nope. Watch my build video and I talk about the only thing that I've noticed bad about it. Um, I use PEI and ABS and loved it. Isn't the Ender 5 bed small compared to the Pro? I don't know. Um, I have an Ender 5 and I have to cut almost all the elements. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the Ender 3 is awesome and has been working like a... The Ender 3 works. It just works, man. I have, I have one that I, I don't have room for right now. Um, it's just sitting there. So that might be that long print that we were talking about in the Discord. So Can an Ender 5 plus one shot a helmet? Yes. This was printed on an Ender 5 Plus with room to spare. This fits on a CR-10S. The CR-10S can print a helmet in one shot. 
Did you post a video about how to fuse two cut pieces of a print? Yes, I have a PLA welding tutorial. Um, the Ender 3 Pro worked like a charm for me. The Pro's good. Can one-shot helmets and lots of armor parts. Yes. Ah. One-shot armor. Isn't that great? This is the C this is the CR10 Max. This thing's huge. Buttery smooth. It wasn't a layer shift, it was a filament change, so it like over extruded. It's kind of weird. So it'll sand down. I don't care. It's not my problem anyway. <laughs> um, I love your videos and I come from TikTok. Hi. Welcome from TikTok. Whatever happened to the old fireball thing? It's still in there. We're going to be using another fireball. Let me grab this thing. Whatever happened to the old fireball? CR10 Max, V2, S Pro, or S Pro, or V2? Uh, you're, those are very different questions. So this is an Annette A8. It's a piece of crap. This is a fireball. I want to light this on fire and see if this puts it out. So stay tuned for that video. Yes, I'm, I'm going to blow up that in that A, like straight up. I don't want it. It's, it's, it's a fire hazard. Um, have you seen the Ender Extender kits? Yes, the Ender Extender is not worth it. All the people I know who have them, one of them's in the chat. It is not worth the money and the headache you're gonna get. The Ender 3 stepper motors are tinier than the average stepper motor for the CR, the CR series and the up, upper tier Ender series. They are not meant to handle that kind of strain typically. Um, the money you're gonna spend getting the Ender Extender, converting everything, upgrading it, calibrating it, you're, you might as well just say, sell your Ender 3 and just get a CR-10S. It'll perform way better. Or save up for an Ender 5 Plus. Um, yeah, don't, don't do it. Um, what do you do if you run out of filament mint print? You put more filament in. That's why filament runout sensors, they are the future. Uh, how much do you sell that Iron Man suit for? Thousands. <laughs> You've been teasing that video for months. I know, I just, I, I kind of need to find a place to, you know, blow it up. It's not easy, I'm in England. Um, do you see the Iron Bat on DU3D? I'm just finishing the faceplate today, I've got some. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I have the CR Tennis Pro V2 with a wham bam mega bed. Is that okay to set up or should I? If it works, that's fine. Whatever works for you, man. The best print, the best print bed is the bed that works for you. The best filament, is the filament that works for you. Like, there's no best. There, there isn't. There's no best when it comes to any of this stuff. That's it. Um, isn't that the one that didn't come with an instruction manual? Yeah, they don't. The instruction manual is on, on, um, online. It's bad. All right, good night, cool. Merry Christmas. Take it easy, Robert Wagner. Uh, for my Iron Man helmet, I ordered the non-flexible LED eyes before I knew about flexible ones. Are there alternatives to a heat gun to bend them? Uh, blow dryer kind of works, I think. That's for anything to the stream. Hey, thank you, Bruno. I appreciate it. Thank you for entering the contest. I think you did. Thank you. Um, and better luck next time to those who entered and didn't win. How much did it cost to just make the helmet? I don't know. 20 bucks, maybe. Um, for the Iron Bat, I can't seem to find the suit. I just see the helmet. The suit's on there. It's in there somewhere. Um, it's hiding. Uh, nine minutes left in the stream, guys. Nine minutes, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna take off. It's a late one. I'm tired. I just redid my whole garage. I just cleaned it up. I just redid the paint booth. It's paint booth. There's the kill room version too. You'll probably see that in the video um, eventually. Um, smaller, but I'm not painting. I'm not in a rush. I'm not painting an entire suit right now. The uh, star boost I can paint in sections. Um, so it's a little smaller, but it's a lot more compact. I'll have a lot more room out there. And it'll, it'll keep the heat in better. I also redid it so my space heater has to work less when I'm out there painting in the cold of winter. So, um, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think I'm thinking about making a helmet. Make a helmet, yeah, make a helmet. It only, it only uses a roll. You can do a, any, almost any helmet with a roll or less of filament. So, um, Before you wrap things up, thanks for everything you do. As ever, you rock. Matt Harley, you rock. Yes, the suit was 3D printed. <laughs> I remember. Uh, what time is it there? It is 9.52 p.m. England. Will the Mando helmet print on a CR-10S? Yes. 
when I drop, I, you can drop this file and it'll fit perfectly on a CR-10S. Here, look, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. See, it fits. That's a CR-10S bed. It fits with room to spare. Any tips for making a helmet? Print it. I got tons of tips for making helmets. It's all it's all over my channel. I, um, go take a look. You'll 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 be surprised. Don't you think 3D print is kind of expensive with the price of material plus STL plus upgrade? No, it is not. It is not expensive, um, especially if you start selling things. Um, it's very cheap. How many suits do you want to make? All of them. <laughs> Did you give your thoughts on the CR30? I'm thinking about getting one. Wait. Wait for them to work the bugs out. There's already a couple reviews out on it. Um, go watch them and you'll see what I mean. Um, it's a good idea. It still needs work. Um, do, 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 do. Is the CR10 the same size as the CR10S? Yes. The CR10, CR10S, CR10 V2, V3, Pro, Pro V2. All of the same. The only bed differences are the S4, S5, and CR10 Max. Why didn't you print the Mandel helmet upside down like the Iron Man helmets to save filament? Because I didn't want to. Because this, I didn't feel like dealing with sanding all that. Um, and it's uh, by support blocking the inside, I saved a lot of filament. Um, where can I find a 3D printer? Amazon. Amazon's a great place to look. Um, I update link on the 3 d as the armor for the item. Okay, cool. Have you printed anything from Halo? No, I have not. I probably never will. Um, like, I like some DC stuff. I like some Iron Man, you know, some um, Power Ranger stuff. I like some... I, I, there's a mix of things I like. I don't like anything from Halo. I just was never a Halo fan. Like, this is my newest Red Hood helmet. I still need to clear coat and polish it. Um, Example one of why you always, when you weather something, make sure you assemble the helmet, because I weathered here. I, I did some damage there, but I didn't carry it, so I gotta go add that. Um, but this, this helmet came out pretty nice. And it fits really, really awesome. And Echo, where can I find the 3D printer? Have you printed anything from Halo? Micro Center, oh yeah, Micro Center. Do you use a microfiber cloth when you wipe um, no, I just use paper towel. Just standard paper towel. Can you guys hear me okay? Should be able to, right? Echo, echo. I don't have batteries in the eyes right now, so you guys will have to deal with it. What are the other things you may print? A lot. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot. Ooh, I should wear, I should wear this with the Mark 85 suit. Oh. Squeezing my brain. Yeah, so I have, I have the back on a little bit of elastic just to get it over my head. So it works out. Uh, the Ender 5 has the thing going for it. No moving bed, less likely to topple. Yep. Is that a red? Yes. This is the red, this is the red hood rebirth helmet from DO3D. This was printed in one, sh two shots on my, uh, my CR10 Max actually. Um, pretty quickly. I could have spent more time sanding it. Some layer lines showed through, um, but this was painted, sanded, painted, weathered in five hours. Like pr prime, like for raw print, it, it went from this to this in five hours. Very proud of that. Um, do I need a sander for a helmet? No, but it helps. Elastic on the back, genius. Yeah, right, just, just enough. I got a big head. Um, I also shaved down these little ear spots right here because they were kind of cutting my ears. These aren't my helmets though. This is going. This one's going to a friend for a late wedding present because um, I miss him and he's a good dude. And then the other one's going to this other. Re this one is a commission. So this is what it looks like, not weathered. Sorry, I did. I, I sanded and painted both of these in five hours. I did them side by side. I just haven't weathered the other one yet. So. Oh, and um, newsflash, you know the, the flexible cosplay LED eyes? You can cut them. In case you didn't know, this is, what, this is how big they used to be. You can cut them to fit. I literally cut them to just cover up the eyes in the Red Hood mask. 
genius. I, I'm a prodigy. I am, I am the future. I'm kidding. You guys would have figured this out. Um, the problem with it, though, is let me show you guys something really quick. Um, around these cosplay LED eyes, a lot of you already know that there is there's silver tape, see? And this is what reflects the light. So peel it off, cut the LED eye to the size you want, and then just put it back on the new cut. And it works perfectly. So uh, hopefully that just changed your life. Um, yeah, you can cut these to fit. Um, I, you can also cut the hole bigger and add different LEDs inside of it. Yeah, there's the, the flexible LED eyes just like, like leveled up and unlocked what we can do. Any thoughts about printing the Venom helmets? Eh, they look cool, but I'm good. Um, speaking of LED eyes, 47 days from AliExpress. Oof. So excited to hear that Master Chief is awesome. I want a new Transformer Soundwave helmet, but I made the whole suit of the cardboard. Oh, that's pretty cool. It won't take that long. I got my shipment of LED eyes. Where is it? I just got, literally two days ago, got a shipment in from AliExpress. These are, there's 15 of them here, 10 or 15 of them. Um, they took about a week and a half. So don't always trust that shipping. Um, no template, all my eye. What? Oh, okay, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, so we're gonna wrap up this stream, guys. Again, I really appreciate it. Congratulations to the winners. Again, like, you did awesome. Um, if you're still in here watching, um, thank you, dude. Um, if you didn't win, again, uh, thank you for submitting. There will be other contests. Um, I might try to do another design contest. Um, it, we'll see, you know, so just stay tuned. Um, make sure you check out the channel. Uh, the Discord's a good place to be. Uh, I'm gonna pop in a uh, post stream stream in the Discord. It's a lot more laid back. I'm not gonna be, it's just us hanging out and talking. It's a better way for us to communicate um, while I kind of clean this stuff up. And uh, yeah, it'll be, a, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. Vocal to the troll, the, the template of the eye. How long did it take to make the, your gloves? I don't know. I made those gloves. They're the first things I made. They took days or weeks to kind of figure out, but they print pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much. Really, like this is your. Somebody said it the best. I, uh, when I started a year or something ago, I never thought I'd be able to give away printers. I never thought I'd have companies reaching out to me to sponsor printer giveaways. Um, I, I I pay well, the Ender three that I gave away recently. I paid for that, but like you guys kind of paid for that between you know. Patreon and you know uh, monetization, like so, like it, 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 it all comes full circle. Um, so the bigger the channel gets, the cooler stuff I'll be able to give away. Um, I think one of my next giveaways after the printer, I'm actually going to give away this Yarnborn axe right here, Thor's axe. Um, I have two extra ones, um, and I probably I'm going to give one of them away because I don't need to sell them. That's what's cool about this. The more that this grows, the less I don't have to sell commissions. I can just make these things that I want to show you guys how to make. And I don't have to keep pumping out helmets just to pay for it all, so it, it helps. Um, it really, it's helping my little dreams come true and hopefully it's teaching you guys at the same time. Um, I, I was nervous in that first video and honestly, I, in every video after that I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now, but like, I like this stuff and I like talking to you guys about it. Um, so thank you, thank you for coming along on this ride with me, thank you for, uh, you know, letting me do this. I'm no one special. I probably, I'm just louder about it, I guess. Um, so thank you. Uh, I really, I, I can't, I can't say thank you enough guys. Really every, every day gets better. <laughs> every day gets pretty cool and better. Um, how are you doing the under three Z height? Yes. Once I can get the kit, I want to do the Z height thing. I'm waiting for it to be available in Europe, but I might just, I might just buy it in uh, the U S and have like my mom or something ship it to me. I don't know. Um, we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, little Maya. Hold on. This is how we're going to end this stream, guys. Wow, this, this ball really locks up really good, huh? <laughs> I don't know, she just recently started doing that. So if this isn't the best way to end the stream, I don't know what is. Um, yeah, she sleeps behind the suit now. And it's just the cutest thing ever. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys have a great night. Hopefully you enjoy this image of my Shiba just sleeping behind uh, the Mark 85.
At the same time, please appreciate the Mark, the Mark 85's paint job, because it looks really good. Um, yep, yep, yep. Should be able to purchase via US and ship to APO if the company is willing. No, they don't ship APO it, uh, from the US. Yeah, trust me, I tried. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys have a great night. Stay safe. You guys have a happy holiday, um, wherever you are in the world, all that fun stuff. Um,